Classic burlesque is uh, to an instrumental jazz song or a few of them played back to back. Um, they typically are very long. The reveals are very drawn out and most of your piece is improv. And even though I come from a dance background where I am trained to choreograph every moment of the dance so I don't get lost on stage, right? This, the, the point is kind of getting lost on stage in burlesque and, and finding that, those moments of magic. My name is Mayo Lua de Frenchy, and I um, have been introducing myself as that for many years as my stage persona. And uh, very recently, as of the last eight months or so, I've had to get comfortable with my legal name again. And I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, southern ass roots and I've lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico for six years. I started dancing when I was seven years old and um, you know I grew up relatively poor like many artists and um, because I grew up poor my mom more or less made me beg to take dance classes because she wanted to know it was something I was truly interested in before she figured out how to how the hell to pay for dance lessons. So um, I begged for years and she finally put me in dance and uh, tap was the thing that really was my catalyst into dancing. I wanted to get out there and make percussion with my feet, you know? And um, so that's what, what made me start dancing. And I've pretty much been exclusively in burlesque for the last eight years now. And my favorite piece is Emerald Blues. It's the first truly classic piece that I created and it has evolved immensely. Um, it's, it's a, you know, sweetheart strapless sequin gown with gloves that have two foot fringe on them and it's a really lovely costume. Run. Run There's nerdlesque where you more or less do cosplay. There's classic burlesque with boas and feather fans and all of the glitz and glamour. And then there's neo burlesque, which is kind of where I fall. In burlesque, you want to slow down. You want to have moments of stillness. You, you want to work the incredibly beautiful, expensive garment that you're wearing. You want to reveal whatever you're about to reveal in a really interesting and enticing way. I just fell in love with trying to figure out how I could use all these styles that I've trained in my entire life and turn them into something incredibly sensual and inventive for my audience. Um, and it just became an obsession. And once I realized um, that connection I could build with the audience as a soloist, um, I was sold. The rush in burlesque for me is um, the audience interaction. And I, I think if I had not experienced that audience interaction with um, so many of my pieces and and learned to do improv within my pieces I would never have discovered that um, but it's it's the audience interaction all day long <laughs>